There was a girl named Annabelle who meant to dye her hair a light copper and ended up with darker hair than she even began with. Mm, let's rewind. So my roots are super grown in. Um, I've been letting my hair fade out as much as I can. My root is still pretty dark, if you can tell. And that's annoying to me, and I want my hair to be lighter. Girl was so blissfully unaware at this point. Bless her heart. We're gonna color my hair in the bathroom today. Hopefully it doesn't make my hair too light. The fact that I really thought my problem was gonna be that my hair was gonna get too light. The hair color has been applied and clipped up. Hopefully, hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it stays on the lighter side. I realize because it is a level seven, it may feel darker at first. Not me having a gut instinct that I probably made a mistake. I'm excited. Are you sure you're excited? You honestly look pretty petrified. But look a little wild right now, so check in with you soon. My hair overall is darker than when I began this video and that was not the goal. I had been letting my hair fade and fade and fade out because I wanted to go a lighter copper and the other day I dyed it and I just didn't think through what I was doing, formulating, dyed it too dark. I think my hair was super porous, absorbed the color and I've washed it a few times and it has definitely faded out but it's darker than I want. It's a beautiful color nonetheless but not what I was wanting. And so this is gonna be an attempt to slightly shift my color to a lighter copper because I literally fly to England tomorrow night. But one of my hairstylist besties was like, um, I think you should try this thing that Katie colors on TikTok. And if you think about doing what I ended up doing in this video, please go watch her videos because she goes into way more detail and tells you do's and don'ts and just explains it a lot more than I did. Um, talks about which is using um, permanent clear or Redken color gels is the one I'm using in clear and using anywhere from like 20 to 30 volume and mixing it. And basically what she has found is it slightly lifts um, color without the intensity of using something like bleach. I don't want to use bleach on my hair. It essentially allows some of that lift without the extreme damage of using bleach. Yes, there may be some damage, but it's not gonna be like traditional damage if you know what i mean um so we're gonna attempt to do that today and see if it does anything i think i'm gonna try and stick like 25 volume and 30 volume in this midsection where my hair is darker and on my ends i'll probably do like 20 um and then we let it sit for about like 30 minutes i did a test strand and it kind of looked like it did nothing but i'm having some high hopes that it might do something it might not and there's maybe another waste of time, but let's see if we can get my hair to a lighter copper. Yes, I you know, I'm the queen of not measuring, but I really do want to measure. So I'm taking the color gel oils and clear from Redken. And I don't have my little like cup that I used to measure. So I'm going to measure it in a bottle, um, which has the measurements. And I think like I said, I'm going to make two different ones with different volumes. So what I think I'll do is I'll do one for 20 volume at least. So I'm gonna do this one as my 30, which is mid. So this is one and a half. So I'm gonna add one and a half of 30 right here. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another one and I think I'm gonna do 20, 20 volume. I'm gonna make another one and I can always make more. I think I'll just do um, one and a half again. So I'll do a little bit of 30, which will make it like a 25. Great, we're gonna mix those up and begin. What I'm gonna do is take my 20, apply it on my roots, take my 30, apply it on my mids, and then take my 20, 25, and then put on the ends again. Um, this is just like the same consistency as obviously Redken toners. Um, so it's kind of like gel-like. And the main thing is just like super, super saturation. So it's gonna take me a minute, but that's literally what I'm doing and just repeating it. It's kind of hard to see with these back sections, but once I get to the top as well, I'll be able to see a little bit more clearly. Okay, in case you're a little confused what I said I was gonna do, I basically took the 30 volume, only did that on that midsection that had my really old 
dark red color that I've been dying for months. And then I did 20 volume on my root area and 25 on my ends. You guys, fully saturated. I'm gonna leave it for about 30 minutes and I'm dying because it started like, I should have used gloves, but it's like, took my, my like tan, I don't know if you can even tell. Like was taking my tan off, which gives me hope that maybe it will do something. Do something, do something to my hair. Um, cute. Okay, well, we'll check in later. I have white strips in, but um, it's doing something, but I'm terrified it's only lifting my roots. So we're gonna wash this out. In hindsight, as you'll see, I would have done even lower volume on my roots because they lifted, um, which you'll see in a second. I probably would have done more like 10, but it, yeah, that's basically what I did. Okay, my hair is so much lighter literally it got out so much of that pigment and help lifted it a little bit um my hair feels amazing i don't know if you can tell but it is like so soft so shiny i don't know if you can tell on camera though my roots are definitely lighter because my hair there was freshly colored so it just lifted plus the heat of your scalp always does that so my roots lifted a little bit lighter so what i'm probably going to go in with is just like redken shades which are just you know demi permanent toners and maybe do like an 8n or something and kind of just neutralize it a little bit um that's really it otherwise it got so much lighter and it matches my extensions so i'll keep you guys updated with the rest of the process but anyway this is where we're at so far and thank god it literally matches my my hair that i was wanting it to match a lot better so Okay, so I slightly just like tapped my root all in here and I actually didn't do this front piece just because the top part wasn't too hot rooty. It was a lot of the underneath, which is where I had applied the solution before first. So it had just lifted more. Um, but yeah, I still did it a little bit, but then I was like, I'll just leave these pieces like a little bit brighter. But I ended up doing Redken shades. I did a half an ounce of 08 GI to keep some warmth, an ounce of OAN, and then Porsche's processing solution. And that's just gonna sit, oh, it's like 15, 15 minutes. Um, and it will just bring it down. I could have not done this, but it just makes it look a little bit better. And then I'm actually toning some extensions right now. These are my Bellamy extensions, but I just want the root to be a little less bright because naturally my hair, um, although I have hot roots, my general like, I'm a little bit darker up towards my roots than my ends. Um, so I ended up adding, this is just OHEI and a tiny dash of OHC, just to almost create more of like a neutral red, which with extensions, they always color in a very strange way. So using like a gold undertone, goldish neutral OHEI, hopefully will make it look good. Um, and if not, it does wash out because it is just a toner. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and hopefully I have a good result to show you guys. The hair saga is over. We have ended up with a lighter copper color, which is what I was wanting. So the journey was crazy, but we got there in the end. We're literally about to leave for England. Woo! So we got all the suitcases. So hair looking a little bit more fresh in time for the family wedding. Thankfully it was able to happen. And then I was able to color my extensions. I kind of had to do something different to the rue. I ended up going in with Schwarzkopf Igora 757 and 97 and not leaving it on too long, just to slightly tint it to look a little bit more like my um, darker root that leads to a lighter end. So the extensions are all good. Pretty much perfect match. Once they're in, they look good. So we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed the saga. Don't do what Annabelle did this time. And hopefully I have a better copper formula coming in the future, but I hope you enjoyed coming along on the absolute craziness and shenanigans. So I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.